Hi, my name is Matt, and today I'd like to introduce you to YDB. YDB is a relational distributed, horizontally scalable, fault-tolerant database. Its key characteristics include support for high-performance, multi-row and multi-table ACID OLTP transactions, support for the declarative query language YQL, a dialect of SQL, strong consistency with the possibility to relax guarantees for better performance. From a CAP theorem point of view, YDB prefers consistency in case of network partitioning, making this a CP system. And YDB offers horizontal scalability across thousands of servers, proven in real production usage since 2016. Given that YDB is a database with high availability capabilities, it can be used as a mission-critical database for many internet scale services. We sought to bring strict consistency guarantees and data durability to all our systems and to build the best alternative to the eventually consistent key value store. In addition to strict consistency and durability, we provide geo-replicated cluster installations to mitigate for potential data center outages, most of our installations run across three availability zones. YDB survives after availability zone failure without human intervention and remains available for both read and write requests. YDB clusters automatically recover along with availability zones. YDB is widely used by services with 24-7 availability requirements. In such conditions, server downtime can be a real pain point for businesses. YDB architecture allows you to non-disruptively upgrade your software, disk drives, servers, and other components independently without interrupting service loads. YDB has been designed as a platform for various data storage and processing systems aimed at solving a wide range of problems. YDB is currently used as a core component of a system for continuous stream processing, persistent queues, a high-performance network block store, and a distributed queries engine. The entire source code of the platform, SDKs, and documentation is available under the Apache 2.0 license. YDB runs on commodity hardware with a shared nothing architecture. Nodes are typically connected via an Ethernet network in a local data center setup and standard fib optic fibers via a cross data center setup. Compute and storage layers are separated, allowing each of them to grow independently. Let's look at tables. A table in YDB is a relational table containing a set of related data and made up of rows and columns. Each row is a set of cells that are used for storing specific types of values according to the data schema. The data schema defines the names and types of table columns. YDB tables always have one or more columns that make up the primary key. Each table row has a unique key value, so there can be no more than one row per key value. YDB tables are always ordered by primary key. This means that you can efficiently make point reads by key and range-based queries by key or key prefix. A database table can be partitioned by primary key value ranges. Each partition of the table is responsible for a specific range of primary keys. Key ranges maintained by different partitions do not overlap. In cases where there is not a lot of data or loads are small, the table may consist of a single partition. As the amount of data served by the partition or the load on the partition grows, YDB automatically splits this partition in two. The data is split by the median value of the primary key if the partition size exceeds the threshold. If partitioning by load is used, the partition first collects a sample of the requested keys that can be read, written, and deleted, and, based on this sample, selects a key for partitioning to evenly distribute the load across new partitions. The sized base partition split threshold and automatic splitting can be configured individually for each database table. Different table partitions can be served by different distributed database servers. They can also move independently between servers to enable rebalancing or ensure partition operability if servers or network equipment goes offline. YDB evenly distributes tables partitions among the nodes. 
A topic in YDB is an entity for storing unstructured messages and delivering them to multiple subscribers. A producer app writes messages to a topic. Consumer apps are independent of each other. They receive and read messages from the topic in the order they were written there. Topics implement the publish-subscribe architectural pattern. YDB topics have the following properties. At least once delivery guarantees when messages are read by subscribers. Exactly once delivery guarantees when publishing messages. First in, first out messages processing guarantees. To enable horizontal scaling, a topic is divided into partitions that are units of parallelism. YQL, YDB query language, is a universal declarative query language for YDB, a dialect of SQL. YQL has been natively designed for large distributed databases. YQL is an SQL dialect with strong typing and has a lot of embedded functions for date, time, math, JSON, etc. Its DML and DDL constructions are very close to SQL. A secondary index is a way to efficiently access records in a database by means of some piece of information other than the primary key. The current version of YDB implements synchronous and asynchronous global secondary indexes. Each index is a hidden table that is updated for synchronous indexes transactionally when the main table changes, for asynchronous indexes in the background while getting the necessary changes from the main table. When a user sends an SQL query to insert, modify, or delete data, the database transparently generates commands to modify the index table. A table may have multiple secondary indexes. An index may include multiple columns. A synchronous index is updated simultaneously with the table that it indexes. This ensures strict consistency through distributed transactions while reads and blind writes to a table with no index can be performed without a planning stage, significantly reducing delays. Such optimization is impossible when writing data to a table with a synchronous index. Unlike a synchronous index, an asynchronous index doesn't use distributed transactions. Instead, it receives changes from an indexed table in the background. Write transactions to a table using this index are performed with no planning overheads due to reduced guarantees. An asynchronous index provides eventual consistency, but no strict consistency. We also have covering indexes. You can copy the contents of columns into a covering index. This eliminates the need to read data from the main table when performing reads by index and significantly reduces delays. At the same time, such denormalization leads to increased usage of disk space and may slow down inserts and updates due to the need for additional data copying. YDB lets you specify a table column, TTL column, whose values set the lifetime of items. TTL automatically deletes the item from your table once the specified number of seconds passes after the time set in the TTL column. YDB lets you compress the data within tables, exports, and backups. By storing data in shared storage, you can run one or more table partitions replicas without allocating additional storage space. The data is already stored in replicated format, and you can serve more than one reader. You can enable running read replicas for each partition of the table. Reading data from replicas allows you to serve clients demanding minimal delays which is otherwise unachievable in a multi-DC cluster. This can be useful both for isolating different scenarios and for increasing the partition bandwidth. Change Data Capture, or CDC, captures changes to YDB table rows, uses these changes to generate a change feed, writes them to distributed storage, and provides access to these records for further processing. It uses a topic as a distributed storage to efficiently store the table change log. When adding, updating, or deleting a table row, CDC generates a change record and writes it to the topic 
partition corresponding to this key. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format. In YQL, it's represented by the JSON type. Unlike relational tables, JSON can store data with no schema defined. To work with JSON, YQL implements a subset of the SQL support for JavaScript Object Notation or JSON standard, which is part of the common ANSI SQL standard. Scan queries or analytical queries are designed primarily for running analytical ad hoc queries over data in a YDB database. Let's look at how users can interact with their database. YDB offers three options. First, you have the SDK, uh, available for the most popular programming languages, which you can see here on the screen. We also have the easy-to-use uh, user interface with a lot of functions like DB Navigator, YQL Execute, Explain, Diagnostics, Monitoring, etc. And for those who prefer using the command line interface instead of the UI or the SDK, for scripting and for automation, we have the command line interface. YDB has multiple system health sensors. YDB sensor values are available in Prometheus format, so you can collect metric values using Prometheus, a popular open source tool. To visualize data, you can use any system that supports Prometheus, such as Zabbix, Grafana, etc. Grafana dashboards for YDB are already published in YDB repo on GitHub. To enable internal introspection of the database state, the user can make queries to special service tables, system views. System views provide detailed information about individual partitions of all DB tables and detailed information about user queries. You can easily deploy YDB using the most popular tools such as Docker, Kubernetes, or bare metal anywhere and in any cloud. That brings us to the end of our video. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, here's a QR code and a link to our site. We'd be glad to help you answer any questions that you have. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining us.